exponents. Let's do the first three together and you're on your own for the others. There are three different types and the first three represent each of the three types. So let's begin with number one. You have seven to the fourth power eight times. So what I could do is I can um, use this exponent right now. So I'm gonna do seven to the fourth power one time, seven to the fourth power two times, three times, four times, goodness, five, six, I'm running out of room, seven, eight. So I have seven times seven times seven times seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Now I could then write out each of these, which, you know, this means seven times seven times seven times seven. I could do that for all of these, but I can think of an easier way to do that too. So I've got four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. So my final answer is seven, the 32nd power. There we go. If you know how to go directly from here to here, there's no need to put all of this part. However, if you don't, or if you're not confident, it's okay to write all your work out. I would appreciate it though, if in the end you would circle your answer so it's easy to find. Um, so here's your number one. Number two, oh, well, that one's easy. You've got three times three times three times three times three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you've got another times three, times three, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the final answer is, whoops, three to the 14th power. There. Number three. This is the kind I see people mess up on the most. Let's look at this one. So we have four times four times four over four times four times four. Oh, I didn't notice. Yes, so these cancel out. Well, everything cancels out. Ha. Huh. So you're left with just one. What do you know? It's the same as if you had um, a fraction of, if you had the fraction three thirds, well that equals one. Or, you know, five fifths, that always equals one. Be careful on the other fraction ones. Um, their fractions are also division. This one has fewer fives on top than on the bottom. So when you finish, this one will still be in fraction form. You'll have a one on top and then whatever's left on the bottom. Number eight, you see there are more sevens on top than there are on the bottom. That's going to give you a whole number. When working with the fractions, sometimes you'll end up with a whole number and sometimes you'll end up with a fraction. So be open to that. 